Now, if we, I'm going to go over FIFO and LIFO really quick. Let me make sure it's not in the, the same example. Yeah, we're going to use the same example for FIFO and LIFO coming up. So remember, FIFO first. FIFO method. First in, first out. So the oldest costs are going to be cost of goods sold, and the most recent costs are going to be ending inventory. So how do we go about doing this? Our beginning balance. We have to. We still have to go line by line. Let's see. Okay. Let's make sure it's the same example. Fifteenth. I'm going to hide these. Just feel free to unhide them if you need it for future notes. This is just for a specific identification method. Hide. Or maybe I'll make them grouped so you can learn about grouping data. Create chart. Group columns. So I'll shrink this. And so I group that so you can just pull it, press this if you want to look at it for your specific identification method. And so here we see the total costs. I can make the detail a little nicer. Total sales. And so, how do we go about doing FIFO method? We know that we made sales of 20 here, and we need to associate first in, first out costs related to these 20 units. Right? And so, FIFO method, we look at every selling time and then determine the cost beforehand. And so, on, we'll do the same method here. Just copy paste this down. I wouldn't worry. What are the cost of our August 14th sales? We're going to take the, we know we sold 20. And so we know we used 10 at the 91 or the full amount, right? Plus we have another 10, right? 10 of the 106. So we have nine, 1970 is our cost for the August 14th sale because it's first in, first out. So are you, what do we have left over? We have left over, we'll do it here for FIFO. FIFO, sale. Used 10 and 10. Make FIFO left over. This is about it. We have five left of this inventory at a cost of $106. So our cost associated here is 1970. Then we have to determine on August 30th, we sold how many goods? 23. So now we need to go back and go to this for our next, our next piece. Let's see, August 814. FIFO used 8.30. And so what's the cost of our 8.30 sale? Well, we know we sold 23. Uh, let's see, the sale here is 23, right? 5 plus 18. And so what we're going to be doing is we need to have five of this. And we just go down and figure out how do we equal the 18? Uh, I mean the 23. And so then what's 23 minus five? We have 18 of these units used. So what's left over? What was that? 20 minus 18. We have two. And then we have 10 left from the last batch. And then what we're going to do is take this five times the 106 plus the 18 times the 115 to figure out our costs for the August 30th sale. This is our total costs of goods or cost of goods sold under the FIFO method. So you can see we still have all the purchases left over in that last shipment. All right, is this making sense?
So make sure this is just an, uh, a really a way to organize all the information. And so make sure you're tracking all of these different uh, pieces as you go. There's a quick way to figure out the FIFO costs too. You can just figure out what's left over right at the end. And so instead of doing all of these other pieces, FIFO can be a little easier if I say, I know I sold 20 in the first one and eight, uh, 23 in the last one, right? So total sold. So 20 plus 23. I know my total inventory at the end based on this should have been 55. So left over is 12, right? This is my shortcut. We know we have left over of 12. I can associate the last units of cost to this 12. And so I know that I had the 828 purchases of 10 is gonna be associated. So 10 times the 119, 828. And I know my 817 purchases, I need two units, right? Because that's all we have left. Two times the 115. That's my leftover amount, the 1,420. And I can subtract that from my 55990 five, five, that I know total to get the same amount. And so you can back into the FIFO amount too. So that's FIFO. 